Hi there, I'm Professor Blackmore, and I want to welcome you to ProfessorBlackmore.com, where our goal is to empower results through real productivity. And today, I'm coming back to you with another installment of my series entitled, Don't Waste Your Corona Time, Attorney Bar Exam Edition. And I'm just going to jump right in. And the first thing I want to do is to let you know that studies show that to have a higher likelihood of success, you need at least 12 weeks of meaningful bar exam study. And so when I say meaningful, I mean meaningful in every way. So you just can't be spinning your wheels and spending your time in the library talking to your buddies. That's not meaningful study. And so to get the most out of your 12 or more weeks of study and to ensure that the content is meaningful, you need, in my opinion, a bar exam study calendar slash schedule. And so that is what I want to talk to you about today. And before you start to plan out your calendar or your scheduling on your calendar, you need to do a deep research on exactly what is covered on your state's Board of Law Examiners bar exam. You want to have a clear understanding of how the test will be administered and which parts of the test will be covered on which days. And so you want to gather information on the requirements in your state for the Uniform Bar Exam or the UBE, the Multi-State Bar Exam or the MBE, the Multi-State Essay Exam or the MEE, and the Multi-State Performance Tests or what we call the MPT. And so what I really want to stop and talk to you first about is the UBE, the Uniform Bar Exam. And so let's go over here so that I can show you what I mean when I say UBE so that we can go step by step. And so what you want to do is you want to go over first to the National Conference of Bar Examiners website. Okay, and when you go over to that website, uh, and I will provide you with this specific link. But this is to get information on what's going on with the coronavirus uh, or COVID-19 uh, postponements of exams. So you want to look at that first because that's very important. And then we'll talk a little bit about the UBE. But now this uh, talks about which states or going ahead with the July uh, scheduling of their exams, which ones are going to have a September postponement. There are some that are going to keep their July date and they're going to add the September dates as well. So this is just a map view uh, of that. And then there's also the table format view as well. And so as you can see here, you have your group listing of all of the states that are going ahead with the July uh, scheduling. And then here is the grouping of states that are going to uh, postpone their exam until September. So you can see California, Alaska, Delaware, uh, DC, Georgia. These are just some of the states that are just going to postpone the exam altogether. But then you have uh, some states that uh, are going to have the uh, July and September date and see Texas is one of those states. Okay, and so that would lead one to start to want to think about the strategy of uh, whether they're going to take the July uh, bar examination or if they're going to postpone until September. Now there are some who may be contemplating just taking them both, 
but you want to think about really what are you going to get out of doing that if you're clear that the uh, bar examiner will be able to get the scores out for the July date prior to the September date then maybe that is something to do but if not uh, then I wouldn't I wouldn't do that I would develop a plan decide whether you're going to take the July or the September and then stick with that plan and then you want to build on scheduling uh, and sticking to your schedule to prepare for whichever one of the decisions you have made uh, in that event so this is the time now for people who think okay I'm going to take the September exam so that means that I'm just gonna take all of this time right now and I'm just gonna just sit back and relax no this is valuable time you don't want to waste your corona time uh, and I'll tell you later what I mean about the things that you should be doing in this particular time but now I want to show you what I mean when I talk about the UBE and so if you just click on that UBE the National Conference of Bar Examiners website explains to you what that means and it shows you all of the states that have adopted the UBE so I'm just gonna use Nevada for instance because I did get a specific question about Nevada and so um, first what I want to do is show you their explanation of the UBE and so this uniform bar examination is coordinated by the NCBE and is composed of the various parts of the exam the MEE the MPT and the MBE and it is uniformly administered graded and scored and results in a portable score that can be transferred to the other UBE jurisdictions so you're going to not only take this exam in a uniform fashion but then those scores can also then be used in those states that have also adopted the UBE so that's very valuable uh, going forward that's going to be very useful uh, for people who want to uh, have their bar uh, or who want to be licensed in different states okay so now also the UBE is administered over two days in a uniform fashion throughout all of those states that have adopted the UBE and so you'll have the MBE given on the last Wednesday of February and July and the MEE and MP, MPT portions given on the Tuesday prior to that date jurisdictions that use the UBE may also require applicants to complete a jurisdiction specific law component and so I'm gonna look at Nevada because I did get a specific question about Nevada and so when I go to Nevada now when you go here on the National Conference of Bar Examiners website on the front page you can search any jurisdiction that you're looking for okay so I'm gonna look at Nevada here but when I'm finished getting all of the information that I need from this particular website I need to go specifically to Nevada to be clear and to have a deep 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 understanding about what exactly I am going to have to uh, prepare for uh, to take their exam I say that because for California for example California allows you to take a what they call the attorney exam and so if you meet certain requirements uh, you can take the attorney exam and you don't have to sit for the MBE portion of the exam so that means that you only have to 
uh, attend the exam on the Tuesday and you will be able to waive in your MBE scores from your prior test. Okay, so now for Nevada though, uh, they do not adopt the UBE at all. So you can click on this and it'll show you answers to those questions. It does not uh, adopt the UBE and you cannot transfer a UBE score. And so uh, this is a, when I'm thinking about taking the exam in this particular state, and I'm thinking about what's going on, all of the influx from COVID uh, and coronavirus, they're going forward also with their July exam. So if I just go back, Okay, so when I look at the table of the states, then I can see here that for July, Nevada is going ahead with their July date. And when I look to see if Nevada is going to have a September date, I do not see Nevada on the list. So if I'm going to take the next exam, I have to be ready to take that July exam for Nevada or I'm going to have to wait for the February exam. Okay. In addition to that, then what I am now finding for Nevada is that in addition to the fact that I'm going to have to go ahead and be prepared for the July exam, that this uh, jurisdiction does not adopt the UBE. So that means I need to go specifically to the Nevada website and be clear on all of the things that will be tested on that Nevada exam. Okay. And so that is what I mean when I uh, say that you need to be clear about the UBE. You want to understand what the UBE means and whether your state has adopted that UBE. But then uh, you need to then prepare and research your state board of law examiner's policy on what components of the exam will be tested. So you want to go to the UBE map and figure out if your state has adopted that UBE. The states in orange are the ones that have adopted and the ones that are in this beige color are the ones that have not adopted the UBE. And then the next thing you want to do is to be extremely honest with yourself about any limitations there are on your daily time schedule. Okay, so generally, my advice would be that you should not work and try to study for the bar exam at the same time. Now, especially if your state has not adopted the UBE and especially for the state of California. Uh, now, the state of California is just, it is a very, very difficult uh, bar exam for a whole lot of different reasons. Uh, it seems that they test the same subjects from the MBE subjects are also tested on the essay portion of the exam. It makes it very difficult because uh, if you can qualify to take the attorney exam, it's a little bit better for you. But if you're having to do study for the MBE subjects and you're studying for those additional MBE subjects on top of the special essay subjects, it's a lot of essay subjects to prepare for. So that makes that exam very, very difficult. And so I just advise people taking the California bar uh, not to try to work and take that exam at the same time. But if you must work, it can be done, but you must stick to an extremely uh, specific it, two, one. But you must stick to an extremely precise daily schedule. And if you're not a morning person, 
you want to be honest with yourself about that in your planning. If you are a night owl and you do well at night, then that is something that you want to take into consideration when you're doing your scheduling. With all of this in mind, you can start scheduling on the calendar. And here are some benchmarks you want to make sure are reflected on your calendar. So you want to do a complete refresher of every single MBE subject in the first two weeks. So the one thing that I want to stop and say about that is that I think a lot of people think that they can just go into Barbary, just take the two weeks because this is what it usually amounts to. The two weeks after you graduate is when Barbary kind of starts. I find that students just take that two weeks and they just relax. You need to have your Barbary outline or whatever outline you're using. You need to go into your hooding ceremony with that in your hand and every, I mean, from that moment until Barbary, you should be using that time to uh, get more familiarized with those subjects because what I think people forget is that this, these are subjects like torts, contracts, con law, real property. These are things we have not thought about since the first year of law school. In the third year, this is not something that you have been studying. And so you need to refresh your memory on those concepts. That means that you need to go back into your outline and completely develop your note cards and refresh your memory about those subjects. You need at least two weeks to cover all of those subjects. And so I'm going to show you what that looks like uh, on my calendar. Now what I'm showing you here is a calendar uh, that I, a custom calendar that I made for someone for the February bar exam. But you can see how, uh, and this person was going to be working and they were, you know, they had young children. So uh, that's the times that you see on this calendar are reflected with that in mind. But you can see how I start off with the evidence lecture. Uh, listen and watch that video for the evidence lecture and then do the evidence outline and add to the note cards okay then Civ Pro lecture Civ Pro outline torts uh, and your uh, crim pro real property con law so these are just some of the things that are reflected on this particular calendar. Now this particular state uh, has workers comp and some other essay subjects in here. And so that, that is some of the stuff that you can see uh, on this particular schedule here. And so what you also want to be doing at the same time is developing your note cards. Here's just an example of some of my note cards, my criminal, my criminal law note cards on murder. So I am getting this information from my outline and now I'm also working on my note cards. So these are things that you can be doing in this particular time because if you try to wait for Barbie to start, then you want to try to start working on note cards and all these things. It's a lot to try to do and to try to manage. And so what you want to do is you want to get all your note cards ready. You want to have your calendar ready. You want to have already gone through those outlines for those MBE subjects in this particular time that you have. And so that's what I mean when I say don't waste your Corona time. And so once you have decided what times of day work best for your schedule and when you can uh, accomplish some of the tasks, at some point you will see where uh, it talks about do 10 torts MBE questions. Once you decide that you have set your calendar, you want to be sure that you carry out your obligation to do everything 
on your calendar and don't get behind don't get lazy and say oh I can just do that thing tomorrow once you do 10 questions you want to do 10 and you want to review those 10 questions you want to uh, maintain throughout this entire process 70% on your MBE questions and uh, the way that you determine that is by doing them in sets of 10. Let's say you get three wrong. You want to go back into your outline and determine where the weakness is on those particular subjects, whatever it may be, and you want to correct that in your note cards so that you're always correcting your note cards and you are reflecting now the synthesis of those principles uh, in your memory and in your practice of that particular subject okay and so now the other thing that you want to be mindful of is that at some point uh, four weeks out from the exam you want to schedule a 100 question three hour MBE exam okay okay so if you look at this particular uh, calendar example, you can see here how uh, four weeks out from the exam, on a Saturday, you want to schedule out that three hours to do the 100 uh, MBE practice exam, okay? And you can use the practice exam in the Barbary workbook or whatever 100 questions you're going to use, but then at some point you want to go back and review and revise your note cards as needed. Now the point of doing this is because at this point, on this particular date, you want to be in your tip-top heavyweight fighter condition for the MBE portion of the exam. And then from this point on, what you're going to do is you're going to go hard on your essay subjects while maintaining that 70 percentile that you have worked up to hopefully at that point you want to maintain that from that point on by doing sets of 10 questions each day and reviewing those 10 questions each day but what you're doing from that point on is you are given a lot of attention to your essay subjects at that point you can see here how we start to go into more work on doing the essays. And so here you can see how uh, each day is a focus on doing essays from one of those essay subjects. At the same time, you can see in the morning, the first thing we do is 10 mixed subject MBE questions because at this point we want to maintain the uh, MBE uh, subjects and we want to get a real idea of how we're doing in those subjects by mixing those questions up a little bit. Okay, all the while what we want to do on Saturday is we want to do a MPT problem. Okay, so we're covering all of the aspects uh, throughout on the calendar for uh, preparation for your MBE subjects, your essay subjects, and we're also working in uh, practice for the MPT. So that concludes my preliminary tips for you on this edition of Don't Waste Your Corona Time Attorney Bar Exam edition. And if you've enjoyed these tips, I ask that you please like and share this video and share this video with your family and friends. And please also subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. And if you'd like to purchase a copy of my course entitled How to Answer MBE and Essay Exam Questions, please use the link that I have placed in the information section of this video. Or if you like to purchase access to my outlines and question workbooks, or if you'd like to purchase a copy of my custom 
bar exam study calendar slash schedule, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com.